Let's switch from, from that depressing subject to yes. another far more depressing subject, and that is the state of Prince Harry, Joe. Oh, I uh, he's I, still complaining and whining I about love, things. I, I love this. I love this. Prince Harry, uh, just, just mate, all, just one, one request. Get the follow-up single. Like, where is it? Because every single thing, it's the, you know, my family is mean to me, you know, I'm sad, no one's doing enough to make me happy, mental my health, family mental is mean health. to me, mental health, whatever. We've all got mental health. I'm crazy as a cut snake. Anyway, here he is again, um, having a bit of a whinge about how, and I, I've never served in the armed forces, so I'm sure it is very hard, but I'm pretty sure if you're a prince, it's not as hard as it is for everyone else. <laughs> um, he's got a clip uh, where he's saying that no one supported him after his tour of duty in Afghanistan. Have a listen. The trigger to me was actually returning from Afghanistan, but the stuff that was coming up was from from the age of from 1997, from the age of 12. The biggest struggle for me was the people. But no one around me really could help. I didn't have that support structure, that network, or that expert advice to identify what was actually going on with me. Yes, that is again Prince Harry mastering his complete and utter mastery of the English language, especially the letter I. Um, <laughs> like, they, they just... They, he doesn't... He can't actually do anything else except complain about a life of the most extraordinary privilege mm. that most of us can't even imagine it. It's the only trick he's got. And to be fair, he's made a lot of money right. from that trick. But yeah. the public are getting pretty sick of it because we've heard all the sad stories. And he, he neglects to mention the fact that his brother was also in Afghanistan. He seems to be doing it, Williams fairly never well. mentioned it. And there was lots of other people. He just came back with a pile of badass photos of him in, uh -huh. in like, yeah. camo gear. And everyone's like, yeah, William. But also the fact that when he, he just said that returning from Afghanistan Afghanistan, he bought up for things for me from when I was 12. So he's really just creating this soup of victimhood and you're like, dude, how is one connected to the other and so, so on and so forth. But there's so much more coming because this Netflix oh, deal man. that he and Megan signed, it's like, what, five years long? Yeah. So obviously <laughs> we've already seen, you know, their relationship story and we all, yeah. you know, suffered through that. This is clearly the next instalment. What's next? Do you think he's going to run out of victimhood. I think he's already run out of victimhood. It's just He's recycling the it same now. old sad, sad story.